everyone! Welcome to part 4 of the mini sewing machine garment making series where we are learning how to sew a basic tunic for ourselves. And in today's episode, we're going to learn how to cut fabric using a pattern. So today we'll be cutting out the bodice of the tunic top that we are making for ourselves. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in front of you, you will see that um, I've got two different pieces of gift wrap. Now, we're not wrapping any gifts today, but these paper pieces are here to show you a concept when it comes to cutting out fabric for clothes making. So this piece of paper has got some evenly scattered pattern. And if I turn the paper this way, you'll see that it looks just the same. If I turn it that way, it looks the same, same, and same, okay? Whereas if you now look at this piece of paper, it's got some Christmas tree prints on it. You'll see that the trees are upright that way. I cannot use this paper this way, imagining that this is fabric. Can't use it that way because it'll be upside down. It'll be sideways again. I can only cut this fabric with print going in one direction in a certain manner. And we need to keep this concept in mind before we start cutting our fabric. Now when you buy any fabric off the bolt, you'll realize that it's got two equal, perfectly straight edges and they're called selvages, okay? Those selvages are great because they can give us a guide on how and where to cut our fabric. Now whenever you're preparing a piece of fabric to cut out a pattern like we're doing today, this is what you have to do. If your fabric has got evenly spaced pattern, make sure that first your selvages are running down either side perfectly straight. Now this is what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna fold your fabric lengthwise from one selvage to the other because any markings that we're gonna do are going to be on the outside, okay? And then we're going to fold the fabric over again like so, okay? And what you will now realize is that you've got four layers. One, two, three, four, okay? You will also find that your folds, your lengthwise folds, run down on this side, okay? And this is how you're going to use your fabric to cut out the pattern. So you're probably going to lay down your pattern piece here and then just, you know, imagining that this is a pattern piece. This is how it's going to work out. And when you cut it out, you'll be left with two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. If your fabric sprints are like the ones running on this uh, piece of paper, what you're first going to have to do is slice it down the middle, okay, into two equal halves. Let's do that. Okay, so I've now sliced it down the middle. Now this is what we're going to do. We're going to layer them one on top of the other. So now this time, the patterns on both the pieces are running in the same direction. Now I can fold both these pieces together down the middle, okay? And again, I've got four layers. Look, one, two, three, four, okay? And again, I've got that folded edge. So now when I start drafting my pattern along this fold, it's gonna be something like this, okay? And that's how it's going to look. So, before we move on to the first step, this is what you have to do. Iron out your fabric, provided that you've already pre-shrunk it, okay? So shrink it, dry it, iron it out, and then fold it depending upon what the pattern is like on your fabric. And now we will move on to the next step. Okay, so here we are at the cutting table. And here in front of you, you can see the pattern that we cut out in the last episode, okay? So underneath the pattern, I folded up and ironed my fabric exactly the way we just talked about, okay? So it's four layers of fabric with the lengthwise folds facing me. I'm going to take my pattern piece and place it along that long edge, okay? I have to line it up perfectly, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some pins and start pinning the pattern to the fabric. So here's my bobble-headed pin. And we're going to try and poke the pattern in such a manner that the points are facing out perpendicular to the outline of the pattern. Here we go. Okay, so I've pinned down the pattern 
to the fabric. So the first step I'm going to do is simply trace out the outline of the garment using this piece of Taylor's chalk, okay? However, you will notice that the front armhole outline is on the inside of the fabric. So to trace out the front armhole outline, I'm going to use this little wheel with pointy corners. And if you don't know where to find this, I'm going to post a link down below in the description of where to find this wheel. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. So that's my measuring tape and as you can see, I've got the inches side towards me. I'm going to place the measuring tape with the one inch line on the outer edge of the pattern and mark out one inch all along the sides and along the bottom hem. Let's do that. Now for the shoulders and the armhole, I'm going to add half an inch. So I'm going to place a half an inch marker on the outside and do that. Okay, so now that the cut line has been marked out, I'm also going to mark out two more lines, which is the waist line and the hip line. You also want to make sure that wherever two lines meet, for example at the armpit or the shoulder or the hem's corner, make sure you crisscross the lines, okay? So here I've crisscrossed the lines. Let me show it to you more clearly. Okay, so that's my crisscross there and there, okay? I've crisscrossed the inner and outer lines, okay? so that we know exactly where those two lines are intersecting. So here I've got my Fiskar scissors, which I only use for fabrics. If you wanna know where to find them, I'll post a link to them down below. Uh, and I'm going to start from the left corner and try to work my way that way. But if I can't, I'm gonna change directions, okay? Here we go. So that's the waist notch cut out. Let's repeat the same at the hip line. There is a hip notch. Let's repeat the same at the shoulder line. Okay, and one last notch at the base of the armhole. We also have to cut out a notch in one final point, which is the middle of the neckline. Okay? Okay, so I've now removed all the pins. I'm going to remove the pattern. Okay. Now, on this piece of fabric, I have marked out with my wheel where the front armhole is. So I'm going to keep this and I'm going to remove the back one. I'm going to take this one away. Okay? Okay, and we quickly need to work with this one and keeping that wheel marking in sight, I'm going to mark out the new armhole cut line. And now you can see that deeper curve, I'm going to cut along that line as well.
Okay, so that's our front and back pieces of our fabric for the tunic bodice cut out. Now I was planning to include the sleeves cutting out today as well, but I think this is a whole lot to absorb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. So if you're watching this at home, what you have to do is A, select the fabric and then shrink it by soaking it in warm water for about half an hour to an hour um, and then air dry it, iron it out and then decide whether it's a unidirectional fabric or if it's a fabric in which it doesn't matter what direction you're cutting it in. Lay out your pattern pieces accordingly and then mark them out carefully and cut them out not to forget all the notches, the middle of the neckline notch, your shoulder notch, armpit notch, waist notch and the hip notch. Do that and for the le next lesson keep a piece of pre-shrunk ironed out fabric ready because we are going to lay out our sleeve pattern on top of it and cut that out okay thank you so much for watching today guys if you learned something new today and if you feel that this is really helping you develop your sewing skills for garment making do hit that thumbs up button and uh, recommend this video to your friends people you know spread the word and i shall see you guys in the next episode take care bye